This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Libra from March 17th to March 31st, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got for our Libra? We're going to do things a little bit differently and we're going to use some auto-generated questions. So if you have any questions that you want asked, put them down in the comments below and then I'll add them to the program. All right. What do we got for our Libra? First question is, how will not taking this action alter our Libra's path in life? Clearly you're thinking about some action that you want to take. And we got the Six of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Wands. This is a work-related action. And if you don't take it, you'll be more victorious. But you'll have to move. You'll have to move somewhere. And I feel, you know, with the five of wands there, you're scared of making this move. That's what's preventing you. That's why you want to take this other action. It's almost like this other action's easier, but not as fulfilling. So the action that you want to take presently is something that you view as fulfilling. But... The action that you should be taking or by not taking this action and going down a different path will require you to move, will require you to, to almost have to fight to achieve something. And... Perhaps it's going to put you in the public eye. Hmm. Like you'll have to move, which is risky. Going in the public eye is risky. It's like a battle that you're scared to take on. But it promises victory. Like, you know you'll be more victorious if you take this, this challenge on. So the answer is no. Don't take this action that you're thinking about taking. Take the one that's more challenging to you. You'll be rewarded for it. What is the future outlook for this connection at the moment? Clearly, you have a love interest that you're wondering about. Perhaps that has something to do with the choice that you want to make, this action that you want to take. So this love interest plays a part in that and you want to know the future outlook of this connection with this love interest. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Once an offer is made, it will be accepted with a lot of love. Like, the Nine of Cups is happiness. It's, it's not needing anything else to fulfill you, you know. So, so this love interest wants you to, to make this offer. With the Nine of Cups, I'm wondering, like it's gonna give them fulfillment. They want it to come from you. It 
It's like they're, it's like they're kind of going to be sitting on it, enjoying the fact that you want them so much. Mm, before we get to the next random question. How will this love interest accept this offer? Five of Swords, Knight of Cups, Temperance. They're going to make you wait. <laughs> they're going to be kind of cold to you, but they're going to feel the love. Like they... More cups, you know. Temperance card. I always see the temperance card as a soulmate indicator because there's there's almost like a divine pressure being put onto this connection. Like there's something in this connection that that you both need to engage in to to learn from. So They're going to deny you in perhaps the not nicest way. Like it's going to be kind of a cold denial, but they'll walk away from this connection with this feeling of love. And then temperance, it's like going to pressure that feeling on them. Like they're going to, they're going to be forced to recognize that they have this feeling for you. There is some soulmate energy here. What happened that made the love interest act the way that they are? So, why is this love interest going to be cold to you? Let's ask that. We got the Queen of Swords, nice and cold, King of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Huh. Queen of Swords, King of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. They want time to, to weigh this option. And they want that emotion to grow. I know we're asking, you know, what... What happened to this love interest that made them act the way they do? But I feel it could be, it could be influenced by their parents with the king and queen here. Like they, their parents might have some sort of influence over how they make their decisions, you know, telling them, and it's more of the father here than anything, but it's like, it's like, this parent influenced them not to get into situations recklessly, like to weigh situations out and let the, the waters calm down a bit before making a decision. So this person likes to take their time and that's a good thing because, you know, that time that they do take is only going to allow their feelings for you to grow. Like that temperance card, that divine intervention is, is going to be opening their eyes up to this connection that they have with you. Who will be taking the next action towards whom? Huh, Libra? My guess is it's you. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like you've already put the work into this connection. You're kind of just waiting on some sort of sign from them. But they're defensive. It's almost like a stalemate here. 
they are acting defensive, but they will send you some sort of sign that's, that's full of passion. When you're least expecting it. Hmm. Like you'll be working on something else. And they're going to send you a sign. They're not going to give too much. Like they're going to play it off. They're going to play it off like it's not a sign when it is a sign. Do you understand? Like they're, they're going to, to save face, they're, they're going to be coy about it. They're going to, they're going to, they're not going to show you all their cards. Like they'll, they'll send you a sign to let you know that, Hey, I like you. They're going to pretend like, Hey, I don't think about you. I, they can be defensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what will happen if our Libra waits for the love interest to reach out to them? Hey, four of wands, lovers, and the hangman. They're going to change their perspective. There's going to be a reunion, like, like, this is soulmate energy with the lovers here. This is going to be, a huge reunion. Like, they're going to change their perspective. Huh. You got to wait. You got to wait for them to change their perspective till they come towards you fully ready for a reunion. Like when, when it's so clear that they want you, you got to wait for that. Because there is going to be this huge reunion, like this undeniable, attractive soulmate energy. And we see another angel here with the lover's card. So it is destined. Something's going to change their perspective. Someone, something is going to make them want to reunite with you. Like they're going to come towards you wanting to be reunited. And then the magic happens. In the extended, let's see. In the extended, we'll look into what does our Libra need to watch out for at this time? How can our Libra get this love interest to like them even more? Oh, that's a good one. What karma will this love interest receive for the way they treat treated our Libra? How can our Libra prepare, prepare for the arrival of the love interest? It's, it's funny, like, like, you know, I plug these questions into an auto-generated program. And there's like probably a hundred questions. And these are the questions that are coming up. Like, it, I couldn't have planned for this. How can our Libra prepare for the arrival of the love interest? So it is coming towards you. Like that's just another confirmation. What are the false beliefs the love interest needs to let go of? And we'll ask, what does our Libra have to look forward to in this connection? The link for the extend is down below. Make sure you add a question if you have one on your mind so I can add to this thing. And I wish you the best. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.